Hey guys, it's Sandy here from YC Onion. So you've probably seen ice, but have you ever seen how ice melt from solid to liquid? Now let's watch the video. The process of ice melting can be stunningly beautiful. So today we're going to show you how to capture this moment with time lapse. First, we need to know how the time lapse works. It is essentially combining all the images together, capturing the slow changing process of the subject and compress all the images into a short video so that the changes became more obvious. Before we start, we're going to prepare a few things. A tripod, a YC Onion hot dust lighter, a shutter release, and support arms. Stability is very important for making a time-lapse video. Any subtle movement might lead to jitters in your final result. If you think your setup is not stable enough, you can replace the support arms with two tripods. The camera and lens we'll be using are the Sony Alpha 7 Mark III and Lawa 100mm micro lens. Because the time lapse takes a long time to shoot, you'll want to use a larger memory card and keep your camera charged. The ice we use is made out of cool boiled water so that it comes out more transparent and less bubbly inside. Set up the slider on a tripod with support arms. Connect the shutter release to the slider that suits your camera model. And then pair the slider on the app in your phone. The app has a dedicated time lapse mode where you can set the intervals, number of shots, pause time. The longer the interval is, the less shots it will take. Later in the editing, 25 frames form one second of the video. We'll use two second intervals, a thousand shots and half a second pause as our parameters. Once we finish setting and start shooting, we can step aside and let the slider do its work. If you want to make a time-lapse video in motion, first set your point A and point B. Then adjust the parallax of the slider so that the subject is in the center of the frame. And then the guide rope below the slider will move along the parallax so that the subject will stay in the center of the frame this whole time during the movement. This will give the viewers a sense of surrounding the subject. We can add some colors to the eyes with our pudding light as well. Alright, so that's the tutorial for shooting a time lapse of melting ice. In the next video, we're gonna talk about how to composite your pictures into time lapse in Premiere. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!